The soul and science, is there any proof that we live forever? Hello and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating mysteries of science and technology. In today's video, we are going to tackle one of the most profound and controversial questions of all time, is the human soul truly immortal? Many people believe that there is something more to us than just our physical bodies, something that transcends death and lives on in another realm. This is the idea of the soul, the essence of who we are, our consciousness, our personality, our memories, our feelings. But what is the soul, exactly? And is there any scientific evidence for its existence and immortality? The concept of the soul has been around for thousands of years, and different cultures and religions have different views on what it is and what happens to it after death. Some believe that the soul is a separate entity from the body, and that it can leave the body during sleep, dreams, or near-death experiences. Some believe that the soul is reborn into a new body after death, in a process called reincarnation. Some believe that the soul is judged by a higher power and sent to heaven or hell, or some other place of reward or punishment. Some believe that the soul is annihilated or dissolved into nothingness after death. But what does science have to say about the soul? Is there any way to measure it, observe it, or test it? Well, the answer is not so simple. Science is based on empirical evidence, which means that it relies on observations and experiments that can be repeated and verified by others. Science also follows the laws of nature, which are the rules that govern how the physical world works. These laws include the conservation of energy and matter, which state that energy and matter cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. So, if the soul is a form of energy or matter, then it should follow these laws as well. That means that the soul cannot just disappear or vanish after death, but it must go somewhere or change into something else. But where does it go, and what does it change into? And how can we detect it or track it? Some scientists have tried to answer these questions by conducting experiments on the soul. One of the most famous ones was done by Dr. Duncan McDougall in 1907, who claimed that he measured the weight of the soul by weighing dying patients before and after death. He reported that there was a slight loss of weight, about 21 grams, which he attributed to the departure of the soul from the body. However, his experiment was flawed and unreliable, and his results were never replicated by other researchers. In fact, most scientists today dismiss the idea of the soul having a physical weight or mass, as it would violate the laws of physics. Another experiment that tried to prove the existence of the soul was done by Dr. Stuart Hameroff and Sir Roger Penrose, who proposed that the soul is a quantum phenomenon that resides in the microtubules of the brain cells. They argued that the soul is a form of quantum information that can exist in a superposition of states, meaning that it can be in two or more places at once. They also suggested that the soul can survive the death of the brain by escaping into the quantum realm, where it can exist indefinitely or transfer to another body. However, their theory is highly speculative and has not been tested or confirmed by any empirical evidence. In fact, most scientists doubt that quantum effects can play a significant role in the brain, as the brain is too warm and noisy for quantum coherence to occur. So, does that mean that science has ruled out the possibility of the soul and its immortality? Not necessarily. Science is always open to new discoveries and revisions, and there may be aspects of reality that are beyond our current understanding or detection. There may be dimensions or realms that are invisible or inaccessible to us, where the soul could exist or travel to. There may be forms of energy or matter that are unknown or undetectable to us, where the soul could reside or transform into. There may be phenomena or mechanisms that are mysterious or inexplicable to us, where the soul could emerge or interact with. However, until we have some solid and convincing evidence for the soul and its immortality, we cannot claim that they are true or real. We can only speculate or believe, based on our personal experiences, intuitions, or faith. And that is perfectly fine, as long as we acknowledge that they are not scientific facts, but rather philosophical or religious opinions. So, what do you think? Do you believe that the human soul is truly immortal? And if so, why? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Science Telly for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.